Hello, everybody. Welcome to a brand new Let's Play of Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3 for the PS3 via the HD collection. This game is also released on PS2 originally. <sighs> this is going to be a pretty difficult Let's Play for me to do. Um, those of you that don't <laughs> that don't know or don't know me that well, um, recently I did pick up an Aver Media to do my Let's Plays with. And Aver Media is fine and all, except I, my TV doesn't like it. Or at least it doesn't like it when it comes to using the component cables, because then it keeps telling me, oh, you have a resolution mismatch, and what's not. And those of you that also don't know, when it comes to recording PS3 games, you have to do a fuck ton of workarounds to be able to record these things. And yeah, we're doing Budokai 3. I already did a playthrough of Budokai 1. You guys can check that out if you'd like, but whatever. Um, you have to do a lot of workarounds to record PS3 games, and it's not fun doing these workarounds. You have to record with component, so you have to lower the quality quite a bit. I'm pretty sure anyway. Um, not like my videos are high quality to begin with. But, yeah. Because for some reason, the PS3 will auto-detect that... will auto-detect you, you trying to record a gameplay with any kind of game capture device. And it'll, you know, send a message to the game capture device saying, No, everything in here is copyright protected, so don't even attempt to do this. That's only if you're recording through HDMI, though. Um, if you're trying to record through component, it doesn't seem to care. Like, I guess because then you have to lower the quality, so the quality can't be as good. So this game actually looks a lot crisper than it does when I'm, well, from what I'm showing. Um, it's definitely a step up from the PS2 game. I can already tell that from playing Budokai 1. Because uh, I did Budokai 1 to catch up. But, yeah. Ooh. So, here we are. Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3. Let's go. We're going to start a new, new game. game data will be okay. Yeah, I know. I say data already exists, but I don't care. Because I attempted to record earlier. Um... And it failed miserably. Um, hey, it's me, Goku. So we got a whole so bunch of things to do here in the main You'll menu. You got your Dragon Universe, you got your Dueling Mode, your World Tournament turn. Mode, Practice, practice Skill Editing, Options, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to jump straight into Dragon Universe. Start button. Uh, Dragon Universe is basically the story mode for the game. Um... So, yeah, let's jump in. New story. Um, as you can see, we got a bunch of different characters to play as. We got Goku, Kid Gohan, Krillin, Piccolo, Tien, Yamcha, and that's it for now. Uh, later on, we will unlock some more characters, and some of those characters we unlock will have their own story mode to play through. So, yeah. Kind of find this... Um, uh, yeah, we're going to start off with Goku, though. Um, kind of find it interesting. I'm starting this Let's Play up. Um, let's like let this dude talk. Yes. Long, long ago, Goku had many adventures while searching for the seven magic Dragon Balls. With his trusted friends by his side, Goku successfully battled... The Earth was attacked by a mysterious warrior. Alright, we did get a skill right off the bat, and the reason for this is actually kind of interesting. Um, you can see it has all the usual stuff, tells you how to perform it. As you notice, there's an option that says so uh, side key blast. That's what the E stands for. You know, K is for kicks, P is for punches, E is for energy or key blast. 
or Kai Blast, depending on how you want to say it. Um, now, that's actually different from Budokai 1. I'm not sure how it's different from Budokai 2. I haven't played Budokai 2 in a while. Um, see on the back which character can use this. Goku is the only one. And here's the reason this is... Uh, we're getting this right off the bat. A custom tray pops up, and we have to pop in Karma Maha. Uh, for those of you who watched my Budokai 1 Let's Play, um, the character in story mode of Budokai 1, you're automatically equipped with every move that you that uh, the game feels like you'd want at that point, or or whatever they felt like the character would have at that point. Um, that's not the case here. Here, you have to equip all the moves you want to use. So yeah, that's how it's gonna go for this game. Uh, if we wanted, we could jump right back down to Goku's house, but I don't feel like it. Um, I'm not sure what the point of it is. <laughs> um, as you can see, we also fly around in this, similar to Tenkaichi 2. Um, you know, you use right angle stick to uh, rotate him around, left stick to move him around. Um, if you, you know, move while holding L1, he dashes. And if you hold R1, he can actually search, and since we're like right next to where we need to go, via that red dot on the map, just jump to it. Always like being far away, because then they do that little thing. Now I will say right now, one sec. You're a complete disgrace, Kakarot! Where is your sea and pride? My name is Goku, and I'm from Earth. I'll never join forces with... Alright, I will say right now, there will probably be a lot of deaths in this. Um, simply because I have to get used to playing this really high-paced high fighting game with the lag from RE Central. Oh, I got a blast! There we go. Rotate the control sticks when that pops up. And... Most part controls are basically the same as if you were playing Budokai 1 on the PS2 or in this collection. Um, there's one addition, but I can't remember for like me how you pull it off. Maybe Reddit here will do it. Come on, Reddit. Okay, he, he's dead. That went a lot smoother than in my first attempt at recording this. I got my ass kicked by him simply because I wasn't used to the second to lag. Um, another thing new here to Budokai 3 um, is, an exper is a leveling up system. We gained 315 experience from that fight, and that allowed us to level up to level 2. Now, with each level up, you get some Z points. Which you can equip to your health, extending you know your health, extend your key gauge at the beginning of a fight, um, uh, make your attack stronger, make it so you take less damage, um, include uh, buff up your martial arts skills, your abilities, you know like your key, you know, like your kamamahas and stuff, and I believe that's the computer's level. Um, I like to keep my characters pretty balanced in RPG games like this and like Xenoverse and stuff. Unless I'm like trying to go for some extreme badass. Like I have a thought in mind of what I want this character to be, but I don't really have one for Goku. Um, so yeah. <laughs> um, let's just go in. This okay? Yes. Um, story reenacted. Um, yeah, as you play through the game, if you do certain things, you will get, uh, if you do certain things that are kind of like, from the, from the, uh, show, you'll get some extra voice data and whatnot. And we also got a password, so if you want to use this type of Goku, this level 2 Goku, here's your password, you can put in your game to use them. Or maybe this is how to kill, I don't know. Why you... My partners are already on their way. They'll destroy you all. <laughs> well, I guess this is it, guys. But I'll keep training in the next world. Wish me back to life in one year. What a huge power level. Time to see if all my training with King Kai pick. All right. 
so now we just uh we've come back from all that stuff you know king kai snake way all that kind of fun stuff so according to the map we go this way oop there was a thing back here where was it it's right there let's go to it yeah, as you can see, if you look at the map sometimes, you'll see these sparkling things. There's little things you can jump into. Let's see what this is. Pretty sure it's almost always just an item. Yeah, sometimes it's money. Uh, sometimes it's an item. But yeah, this time around it was money. We got some moolah. Alright. Probably do this one next fight and then end it off. But yeah, I kind of find it funny. I'm starting up this Let's Play... About the same time as another Let's Player I enjoy watching, uh, starting his own Budokai 3 playthrough. He's actually probably almost finished the thing. I don't know. Let's go. You have learned well, Goku. Your KO Pen technique surpasses even my own. But don't overuse it, and never go higher than two times power. Sorry, but even two times power might not be enough to beat the opponent I have to face. All right, we got an item. We got Kaioken attack, or we got Kaioken can transform to use Kaioken. Uh, same way, you know, Goku can use it. Transformation is reversed if damage is taken with less than one full key gauge. Um, no, I don't think it actually means if damage, like if you're just hit, you know, and you transform back. I'm pretty sure it's um if you get knocked down maybe. Where you get like hit with a really strong attack. Yeah. So we got that. Now to bring the, that little tray screen. Uh, what's that? What's the controls to look it up? Um. Oh, menu. Edit skills. There we go. That's what we want to do. Um. We want to put in the Kaioken because you know it's the Kaioken. It's useful. So yeah. Jump back into the planes. Gave us a chance to at least equip it, so that was nice. I'll say this once. Leave now! Otherwise I'll have no ha, Who do you think you are? You think you're any map? Alright, got a feet and rabbit credits now. Alright, yep, transform. Yes. Let's go. It, uh. uh, and boom. Come on. Nah, take that, Rabbits. Or Nappa. Whatever. Okay, Nappa's almost finished. Okay, that's a new thing. I think it's called, bur yeah, burst mode. And from this, we now have, I believe, a chance. Yeah. Yeah, we failed. So his attack goes through. And will do a fuck ton of damage to us. Yeah, if you could hear that, my controller vibrated like crazy. Um, I'm still alive though. Somehow. And I came back and killed him. The power of Kaioken. Whew. Alright, from all that... Uh, we leveled up again. We're now at level four, so let's go. Uh, up my attack and up my guard. All right, that should do it. This okay? Yes. New password to use this level four Goku. I don't believe it. I'm an elite. How did a piece of low level? 
His fighting days are over. Then that's one down. Goku, can't we go somewhere else? We already have to wish enough people back as it is. Wish them back? But Piccolo's gone. We can't use the Dragon Balls. Krillin, does that mean... I'll fill you in on the details <laughs> later. All right. Um, that ends it for this. Uh, I'm actually just going to go ahead and end it here. When we come back, we'll go down there to see what's going on. See who else we have to fight. I mean, it's pretty obvious if you've watched any of my previous Dragon Ball Z Let's Plays. But yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy this playthrough. It's This is going to be a fun little thing to do. Or at least I feel like it will be. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.